Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial. I know it's been a while. That's because I've been working on uh, this tool. Uh, this one's going to be a 30x42 uh, custom title block maker pretty much. Basically it's just going to lay out some lines uh, so that we are able to place our drafting views where we want them. Right? It's going to kind of give us like a little coordinate system on our title block, right? And it's going to go like this. Uh, so you're going to create test tab. Title block, hit the button. And I don't have anything loaded in. And it's going to create it, it's going to make it, and it's going to go back and delete it. This whole thing is based off the premise that you have the out-of-the-box um, title blocks in Revit, right? And I'll show you right now in a second what that means. Um, so here it's still going, and boom. So now if we go to title blocks, right, and hit load. So this one was the one that was created. This is the one that was based off of right, so you have to have this, or you can, you know, link it to one of your other ones, but uh, have it based off of this one, okay? And so we can go, so that's what it's based off of, and so we have that loaded in right here, right? And so now if we do a uh, new view, so I'll be NS, right? And it's going to set, that's our title block, right? So, and then also, this is going to have it so that you can uh, show lines parameter, right? So turn it off, and then the lines go away, and then turn it back on, and the lines reappear, right? And then our title, our boxes are going to be numbered, right? So one's going to start right here, uh, and then it's going to go this way and back, and 20 is going to end up over here, okay? Uh, I always was, uh, was always interested to me that uh, the number one starts off here just because, like, when you turn the page on the huge sheet, right, you always look at the usually the bottom right corner right for the sheet number and the sheet name uh, and then so number one should be right there all right uh, okay so uh, we can get started so let's go over to the code real quick just so I can show you so it's kind of long and by long I mean it's very long um, so here we have there's roughly around eh, maybe like 400 plus lines of code and then we have these other um, I guess helper classes for this one that we've made okay they're all kind of small, um, but uh, they will take some time uh, to make, so just a heads up. So if you need to, grab some coffee, grab some tea, grab a bottle of wine, six-pack, or you know whatever floats your boat to be able to get through. This is this one's going to be, I don't know, I can't even guess. It'll be a long one, though. It'll probably be maybe about like eight, six, five-plus episodes. Um, all right, but then after we have this done, then we can just use it once. We can run it, and then we'll be able to place our drafting views um, that we're going to make later on, right? And we'll be able to place them in each of the box and get the bounding boxes and then make sure that they're smaller than, you know, like the coordinates that we need so that they place in the correct boxes, all right? Okay, uh, I will see you guys over in the uh, code, all right? Um, let's get to it. Don't give up. I know it'll be long, but don't give up. You'll get there, and then if you think about it, you do it once, and you'll never have to do it again. <laughs> That's the great part about it. All right, I'll see you guys over there. Okay, guys, so I'm back over. I just created a new project here. I just named it uh, Create a Custom 30x42 uh, Title Block Tutorial. You can name yours, of course, whatever you want. Uh, let's get started, all right? Uh, just FYI, these videos are probably going to be a little bit longer. I'm probably going to try and shoot for 20-minute video clips uh, just so that we're, I'm not making so many videos. Um, somewhere between 20-minute, 15-minute videos, all right? Okay because it takes forever to upload them, but I'd rather upload a few as opposed to a bajillion. Let's see how it goes. Alright, so we're, um, as always, right, we're getting, uh, we're taking care of the ones that we need to get, so of course you just change the name to the button, right, or to whatever this is, uh, and then to, uh, you know, add in the presentation course, so we can use our bitmap image. Alright, and then we're going to go over to our add-in, and get rid of this guy. Okay, all right, and then so that's done. Let's go back to command.csk. Um, we're gonna go ahead and do our helper classes first because those tend to be more helpful, um, and we can knock those out first. All right. Uh, so when I said before that you can, um, uh, you never have to write some of them again. This is what I mean. So we're gonna come over here, right, and we're going to right click, and then we're gonna go to add. And we're going to add existing, okay? 
Uh, so for this one, right, let's say we want to, so, so we're going to go here, we're going to go to where our other um, classes are. So for this one, for example, create new sheet, right? And then, for example, like we're going to bring in a load title block, right? Because that one we tend to always use, okay? So hit select that and hit add. And then now it pops in our project, right? Now we can go over here and everything's all set up, right? And it's set to um, the title block that we want to grab in initially, okay? All right, and so that one's going to grab... That one's grabbing multiple title blocks. We don't want that one. We want right click out again. And we want sheet. Okay, we're gonna come here, we're gonna go into create drafting view. Try this one, low title block. Let's check it out. Yep, great. Was it 30 by 42? Great. So, like I said before, don't have to put it out, done. All right, um, so after that, here we're going to um, add a couple other classes, okay? So, this one, right click, and let's forget about this. I don't do this. So, if we do Control Shift A, so Control Shift A, right? Uh, Great, create some class, okay, and we're gonna name this class. Uh, this one we're gonna name uh, assign visibility parameter. Oops, we need two lines. Okay, assign visibility parameters, two lines. Okay, create him, and then we're going to code him out. Okay. So, create some space. And, alright, let's get started. So, this one's going to be um, public void assign visibility parameters to lines. Alright, now it's going to take external command data, like always. And take a document. And then also going to take a detail line. Okay. And then copy him. Right, let's push forward. Okay, so we have that right. Just now we're gonna do. Um, we're gonna go back to our command right and copy over the ones that we always use. So these guys, copy those. Go back. All right, and then uh, just need full show lines. Like this equal to false. And then parameter element parameter is equal to detail line dot get parameter and then we're looking for the built parameter yeah uh, is visible param okay and once we have that we're gonna go to failing manager manager Go to your family document. Dot family manager. All right. And then from there we're going to we're going to for each family parameter. FP in family manager Kick dot Oops.
top parameters. Good. And now we're going to check if fp dot dot definition dot name is equal to show lines then we're going to do debug dot print no don't need that one we're gonna do family document dot family manager Alright, we're going to do family document dot family man, sorry, dot family manager dot, let's fix this, it's going to be uh, dot db dot document, okay, and this one's going to be db dot document, okay, this guy, well, let me fix this and come back to you. Okay, so figure out what it was we said to rename our file because we can't have our uh, method and the class file name be the same. So we can come over here and do rename and change to capital A. Should do it and yes. And that goes away. And then we have this one. Dot creation. Let's talk to you. You go away. Get rid of that one. Uh, application services. Okay, cool. Now we're good. All right. So now we're back down here. Uh, so we got family manager. Uh, dot associate element parameter to family parameter, right? And element parameter comma and it's going to our FP. Okay. And then we're gonna say show line exists is equal to true. Alright, so this is setting our um uh the lines that are shooting in the initial demo, right? Just like the orange lines that we had just attached we're attaching them to a parameter so that we can turn them on and off. Okay. And of course don't forget to turn those off before you print or else you get a whole bunch of lines on your sheet. Uh, okay. And let's of course you know you want those. Um, Alright, and then after that, uh, we're going to do another check. So if show lines is equal to false, then we're going to do uh, family parameter show lines family parameter is equal to family document dot family manager dot add parameter and that's going to be show lines comma built in parameter group dot pg visibility comma parameter type dot yes no and now we're just basically creating a new one if we don't have already. All right, and we're going to set that to false. And because we don't want it to be an instance. Okay. All right. Cool. All right, so now we're back over there. And then we're lastly, we're going to do we're going to family document dot family manager dot associate uh, element parameter to family parameter. It's going to be element. Oops element parameter comma show lines family parameter okay. All right. and that's it for that one okay great so now we got that one done now we can copy this and now we can do the ones for text right so we can do for the numbers that we had in our boxes right um so we're gonna do copy and then we're gonna do paste can I do it Maybe not. Let's try this. Let's try rename, copy that, and then we're going to do Control Shift A. 
and rename this guy to text. All right. Okay, now I have that. Now we can come over here. Copy this whole method, pretty much. And yeah, copy. Go over to the text file. And we're gonna rename this one to be text. Okay. It's gonna be text and note. Text note. All right, and then bring these guys in again. UI, yes. And DB. And then services cool all right okay and then now that we're in here we just need to change this stuff so oops. this can change to text note text note all right and then this is going to be text note and then I believe that's it Everything else looks good. Okay, great. All right. Um, okay, so that's save. Close in. Save. And turn up on because I don't like that. Okay. Save and close in. And then close this guy. And close in two. Don't need him. Let's get two. We don't need him. Okay. I believe that's long enough for part one. All right. I'll see you guys over in part two.